Welcome to Grandma Dorothy's Kitchen. I got a good one for you today. I'm going to do my slow cooker again. I'm on my way to church. So before I go to church, I'm going to put uh, pork chops and uh, potatoes in the crock pot. And I'm going to put them on low. I'll be going for two hours. So this is a fast one. It don't take a long time. Okay? So what, we, what you're going to need is I, I season the pork chops. Okay? It's the bone-in pork chops. Alright? I have six right here. Okay? Because I'm going to have company when I come back. And so I want the food to be so the first thing you're going to need pork chops. Now what I did was I seasoned my pork chops and I kept put them in the refrigerator for overnight. But um, you don't have to freeze them. You don't have to you don't have to season them. You don't have to marinate them that long. You can marinate them for at least an hour though. Don't uh, don't season them and cook them right away. Mar let them marinate. Let the seasoning set in for at least an hour. I did mine overnight because I'm going to church this morning. I'm ready to go to church. So what I want to do is put my pork chops on before I leave. So when, because this is fast, and I'll be gone for two and a half hours. And so you're gonna need the pork chops. Now I season these pork chops with um, seasoned salt, garlic salt, uh, pepper. I used. Um, um, uh, Tony saturn seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay. Now you can you can put whatever your choice on it. You don't have to just you know you can be creative. You can add to it if you want to. Put a little hot sauce or whatever you want to on it. Okay. But um, season them. Okay. Then what I'm going what I have I have a, a large because I got six pork pork chops and you see they're pretty big. So I got a large onion. You're going to need a large onion. I have here, I have potatoes. White potatoes, okay? So you can um, slice your potatoes. You can either way. I sliced mine long ways today. And you're going to need cheese. Now, the cheese I'm going to put on after. See, I got pepper jack cheese. Now, the reason why I got pepper jack cheese is to cook it to, to um, I want to um, season it, uh, let the, um, kick it up a notch with the pepper jack. And then I have a, I have here, I have cheddar, cheddar cheese, okay? Now when I bake or when I cook like this, uh, I use, I grate my cheese. Now the reason I do that is because I like the way it, 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 it works when you when you when you get the uh, cheese and grate it when you cook it this way now if I'm making uh, say um, tacos I get the cheese already grated but if I if I'm not making tacos I like to grate my own cheese okay that's just my preference you can do it or don't now this is gonna go in the cheese is gonna go in when I cook because it only takes them it takes 30 minutes after I put the cheese in it'll be ready so the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to, this is non-stick, and I'm using vegetable oil. And so what I'm going to do is spray. It. I spray it because of the cleanup. It's, it's easier when you clean it up, when you get ready to clean it up. I pray, put non-stick, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in my pork chops, okay? So you just put them in. And this is a really fast, fast way. You don't, you don't, it don't take hours and hours and hours, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my onions, okay? Just lay them on. And the reason I put... Uh, you get a large onion because see I, I have quite a bit of meat okay alright 
So that's and then the last thing I'm gonna put in is the now when you when you when you uh, cut your potatoes, make sure you you uh, put cold water. Let them soak in cold cold water. So if because if you don't, they're going to turn colors. They, it's gonna turn, they're gonna turn brown. You know that. So the reason why you put the put them in cold water is so they can stay nice. See how nice and white they are. So they can stay nice and white. All right. I got quite a bit of potato now. You, if you have less uh, meat, you put less potatoes. You, okay. All right. So there you have it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cup of water. All right. And then I'm going to turn it on medium. Okay, and then I'm going to put the lid on. And so, and so when I get back, I'll add, I'll, I'll show you, I'll just add, you just add the um, cheese on top and let it melt and it's ready. Okay, so I'll be back and show you the next step. Welcome back. I'm back from church. And I, when I came back, I was gone two and a half hours. So when I came back, I, I noticed that because my pork chops were so thick that um, they needed about 30 more minutes worth of cooking. So that's what you do. You uh, check your, uh, if your meat, your pork chops is, is thick and not thin, it's going to take a little longer. Okay? So uh, what I, So now I'm going to to um, put the cheese in and uh, I'm gonna once the cheese are melted then it's ready okay so I'm putting the um, pepper jack because it's it, ha it has a little kick to it you know it's pepper jack it has a little kick to it look and I want that little heat to it and then I'm putting um, the, the yellow cheese okay cheddar I get mild cheddar but you can get any kind of cheddar you want you know whatever your preference is you know you can get it I just mix it and the reason why I, I like to grate my own cheese is because it melts better to me but it's your preference if you want to buy it that's already melted that's fine too Okay, and you, um, I had six pork chops, and it was cut pr uh, pretty thick, so I uh, put in uh, nine potatoes. Um, I use the russet potatoes, any kind of potatoes on sale, you can use, you don't have to use the same kind, and you use the potatoes you want, but if you got uh, two or three pork chops, you don't, you just use maybe like two or three uh, potatoes. You know, it depends on how much meat you have in ratio with the potatoes that you that you put in. Okay, all right. And I'll be back and I'll show you the in, the end product. Okay. Welcome back. Now this is the finished product, and I want you to see that if you're if you have less uh, pork chops and potatoes you only put like a fourth of a cup of water because the potatoes and the onions make water okay so you gonna have to judge that for yourself okay and but it's supposed to look like so and um, you gotta get, let's let's get some potatoes okay alright and onions and remember the potatoes and onions make water okay so you don't want it, you don't want too much water in it because you don't want the water to saturate the, the cheese, okay? So uh, start off with less water, okay? I put more water in it because I had lots of potatoes and lots of meat. But if you don't, just use 
like a, a fourth of a cup. Okay? So let's um, taste it. See? Very good. And see, I like the string cheese. That's why I like to put the, the grated cheese in it. And I made some broccoli and cauliflower. Okay? I just went by the direction on the package. And you can get this for one dollar. And it's a good side dish. Okay? So let's, let's taste it. Very good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. See, see this, how the cheese, I like for my cheese to be string like that. That's why I break my own cheese. So good. Try it. Let me know how you like it. I'm not a um, real um, good slow cooker maker. So I'm just learning about it. So help me out. Tell me how you like it. Okay? Happy eating to you.